मैडम थोड़ा सेंटर मैम सेठ सामने एक एक मिनट पर फोटो भेटना Imagine the opportunities and the showcase that filmmakers from across the world that have an element of India or Malta in them will achieve from such an exciting creative platform. And of course, to share with you the details, how they feel the associations with the Malta India Film Festival, we do have a few special guests and dignitaries in our midst. I'd like to request their presence here on these white chairs, so to speak, on stage. Can I request the presence of Mr. Engelbert Grech, director of Malta India Film Academy and jury member of the Malta India Film Festival. <laughs> Mr. Nimish Pandya, chairperson, Streamcast Group. Mr. Shah Magdavar, leading choreographer and artist, the dance guru of India. Mr. Vijay Krishna Acharya, leading Indian filmmaker and jury member of Malta India Film Festival. Ms. Vidya Balan, brand ambassador of the festival and jury member. Our Honorable Minister of Tourism of Malta, Mr. Conrad Mitzi. And our Honorable Minister of State for Home Planning and Finance, Mr. Deepak Kesarkar. Thank you to each and every one of you. It is your presence here today, along with our friends from the media, that makes this occasion so perfect. Now, every great idea has a good story. And our story goes back to Streamcast Group, an independent IP cloud operator that lever a low bandwidth. So they first set up operations in Malta and subsequently their first set up here in India is in a place called Savantwadi in Sindhudurg. Now obviously with the great and close relations that the Streamcast Group shares with both of these nations, a cultural dialogue was inevitable. And so under the aegis of the and the Malta India Film Festival. And now I know you don't want to hear from me, you want to hear from these wonderful people who've taken the stage. So without further ado, I'd like to request Mr. Nimish Pandya, chairperson of Streamcast Group, to say a few words. A very good evening to all of you and a very warm welcome 
today's very special evening. On behalf of the Streamcast Group, Streamcast Studios, and the Malta India Film Festival, I'm indeed very, very happy today to be the bridge between India and Malta. Malta is a very fascinating country as we've been there, and our relationship with Malta started a few years ago when we went there in the incidence of seeing a film studio, which my brother Engelbert was in charge that time. And as we saw the studio, we realized the potential. And as we, as a part of our business, we were already in the process of setting up one of the biggest data centers in Europe as far as Malta is concerned. In the beautiful heritage caves of Malta, which were given to Malta by the uh, Americans before they left World War II, uh, we found a great opportunity to create, retain the heritage caves and create the modern data centers inside these caves. And that's what brought the fortified relationship. The other part was that we realized that Malta has a great relationship with India in terms of culture. The people, very beautiful, very warm. And when we realized that there is so much of talent there as far as filmmaking is concerned and entertainment is concerned, we realized that there was a time. And there we had Vijay already taking the lead from India in setting up the Thugs of Hindustan, which was there. And we realized that if this is the opportunity, all the Indian film industry from every part, north, south, east, west, must know Malta and set up the Maltese pictures locations that we have to do that. Plus, we realized that between Malta and India, there is a great relationship as far as the uh, opportunities are concerned. We realized that the locations uh, must be available to the Indian people. And from that was born this great platform of MIFA, the Malta India Film Festival. We realized that there is a great opportunity that we can create. And this festival, I mean, I know many people told me one more festival in India, there are so many already. But we realized that this one must be different because this opens the doors to all young filmmakers from all over the world with very specific condition that the only condition is they should be Malta centric or India centric as far as content is concerned and the artists are concerned. So such is the beauty and I'm indeed very grateful to Brother Vijay Acharya, uh, Vidya Balanji. It's a pleasure to have you on board and I think you are the right ambassador to create this relationship between the two countries in many, many ways. And ma'am, we are very grateful to you. Thank you very much. I'm also grateful to my Honorable Minister, Sri Kesar Karji. Kesar Karji has a, is, a, is, a, is in charge of an area of Maharashtra which is full of potential as far as tourism is concerned. And this Malta India Film Festival is going to bring forth. In fact, uh, we have now decided that the new airport at Chipi, which is going to be starting in September, the first charter between Malta and India is going to start off from the Chipi Airport. And I think that's where the beginning of the airport is going to happen. And I think that's a great opportunity that we go. I'm indeed very grateful to Minister Conrad Midzi, the Minister of um, Tourism from, from Malta. Uh, in fact, yesterday I had a very nice thing when the cameraman told me that he looks like a star already. So he's like a film star already in many, many ways. So, and he's lovely family with us today. Welcome, ma'am. We're very happy to have you with us. And the enthusiasm that we have between the Maltese government and the streamcast, we had a lovely relationship. Very prompt, very happy, very efficient, and ready to act at the moment. So I think that's the kind of bond that we have. We also have Brother Engelbert, who has had a great experience in Malta as the erstwhile commissioner for films in Malta. And he's the one who really uh, set the ball rolling for our relationship in many, many ways. And none other than Shamak Dawar, who's here just now, he sets the beat, he sets the rhythm, and that's what MIFA is going to be benefited by because Shamak will set the rhythm for us as we go further. And with all these few words, I once again thank all of you, and I'm very happy to be announcing the Malta India Film Festival 2018. Thank you, thank you very much, gentlemen. All the best. Thank you, Mr. Pandya, for setting the tone to this wonderful evening. And I'd like to now take the opportunity to request our Honorable Minister of State for Home Planning and Finance, Mr. Deepak Kesarkar, to share his thoughts with us. All the dignitaries on and off the dais, it is really a privilege to be here. And I will sincerely thank Streamcast for doing something for my region, not only by establishing a data center, but bringing a change 
to the ordinary Indian who are looking for IT services and Streamcast technology will offer them at a very low bandwidth. And that, that is a game changer in India. But their role is not just limited to that. They are bringing the first charter to my district. In fact, it was an honor meeting the Honorable Tourism Minister of Malta, who was kind enough to visit all our ministries, extending the friendship between India and Malta. And there is something similar uh, with my district, which is very close to Goa, which is the only tourism district of India. Malta, which has a population of just 4.5 lakhs and welcomes more than 50 lakh guests a year. And they expect some good human resources from India. And I'm very much thankful to Streamcast because they intend to start a hospitality training institute in Sindurga, which will be able to give you good human resources, which can offer good services to your guests in Malta, because my district is declared by government of India as the cleanliest district of uh, India. And in addition, it is 100% literate district. And in terms of intellectual, it, it has the highest pass out percentage in the whole of the state. So I think we'll be able to give you good manpower. And equally, my district is known for giving the best of mangoes to the world. Alphonse <laughs> have grown in my district, and the cashews are grown in my district. But in addition to that, the people are very humble, very hospitable. And I think it will uh, create a long path of partnership between Maharashtra and Malta. And I know Maharashtra is a most industrialized state in India. Uh, in fact, Mumbai is the financial capital of India. And Malta and Maharashtra could go a long way in friendship. And all the dignitaries from the film industries are here. And uh, Mumbai is supposed to be the heart of film industry of India. So we'll, I hope we'll have a great relationship between Maharashtra and Malta. On behalf of government of Maharashtra, I wish this film festival all the best. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir, for joining us here today. Now, in the Hollywood of the Mediterranean, Malta, Engelbert Grech is a name that is easily recognized and I believe the most sought after. Engelbert was Malta's first was Malta's film commissioner since 2013, and today he is the director of Malta India Film Academy and the head of Streamcast Studios Malta. Sir? If there's anyone who can share the specifics with you about the process, the participation criteria, this is the man. Honorable Ministers, High Commissioner, ladies and gentlemen, namaste. I would like to basically give you a very brief overview of what we want to do. Basically, build a creative bridge between Malta and India. And, you know, the best way to do it is through a film festival, something which both countries, both, both peoples love. Um, this is the first edition. The idea is to do one edition in, in Malta and then come to India the following year. So we do not want to exclude any country. Basically, it's about bringing together creative people, filmmakers, independent filmmakers from the two countries together and one day even produce together quality films for the whole world to see. Now, we definitely, definitely share a common heritage. Um, yes, we are both British colonies, ex-British colonies, but that's not it. I've come to India with great pleasure and, and I've seen people here that have the same passion for everything that they do, especially for films, 
which basically unites us with, with Malta. Let's focus a bit on the festival itself. We have some important dates, so the submissions are officially open now. The first deadline is the 15th October, uh, and then obviously um, we start the evaluation until we come to the selection announcement, and then the festival dates, they will be the 14th, 15th, and 16th of December in Valletta in Malta. Now, many ask us, listen, what are the criteria that will basically determine who can participate in this festival? And these are very simple. Producers must be either from Malta or from India. The film has to be shot in either country, so basically we're focusing here on location. And then the creative elements. Um, we're talking about director, scriptwriter, main actors. They have to come from either Malta or India. So it's very simple. I think we're widening the scope of this, this festival as much as possible, but there always needs to be Malta or India involved. As far as, you know, number of films, we are um, uh, focusing on many areas, three in particular, feature films, short films, and documentary films. And there will be awards in 10 categories. The total prize money is 200,000 euros, so it's not a small amount, and I think it will be a very good incentive. It will be a very good incentive for both you know, filmmakers from India and Malta to participate and show, showcase their talent during this festival. Let's have a look about our film heritage. India has a very, very long history, like Malta does. Malta uh, has been servicing films for the last 90 years, and we've seen very big movies. Gladiator, Troy, Agora, TV series, we mentioned it, Game of Thrones. We had Murder on the Orient Express very recently, Assassin's Creed as well, but, but, and there's a big but here, Tags of Hindustan is extremely close to my heart because, because it opened something, uh, a new world for us. And, and I think it is the film that will create a lot of momentum for this relationship between Malta and India. However, I don't think I'm the right person to talk about it. My friend, Vijay, can speak much more than I, than I can about, about tags, and we're looking forward to the first screening next Diwali. So Vijay, in your good hands, please. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mr. Greg, for sharing the blueprint of the festival with us. And as Mr. Greg just mentioned, we have with us a gentleman, a filmmaker, who had the opportunity to actually go and shoot in Malta. I'm sure everyone here wants to know about what that experience was all about. So please, can I request him to join us on stage? Please put your hands together for Mr. Vijay Krishnacharya, leading Indian filmmaker and jury member. Good evening, um, Honorable Minister Isakarji, uh, Mr. Midji Engelbert, my friend from the Malta Film Commission. Um, I, I went to Malta to shoot a film, but I came back with several friends. And I came back with my heart firmly placed somewhere between uh, St. Julian's and Valletta. So, um, as, a, as a filming opportunity, uh, what we needed uh, in Thugs of Hindustan was something which was very specific. And uh, if I talk too much about it, then I will probably take your joy of the film away. So I will not tell you much. But uh, what I will say is that not for a day 
um, we were there for 65 days and we built something pretty big there. And this was a time where, where there, was an, there was an Indian crew and a Maltese crew and they worked together with, with language differences sometimes, but with so much passion. And I realized that, um, that as they say, you can travel the world, but if you're passionate about something, you always find the people that you must meet. And all the people that we met in Malta were equally passionate about films, just the way we they Caesar, because that's the one thing that unites India. It's the idea of the Hindi film, because we can we can stand at any corner and criticize it, and we and our love for our films is is immense. Um, purely in terms of infrastructure, crew, and and the warmth of the people, I have to say I've I've shot in a lot of countries across the world, but Malta felt so so genuinely warm and friendly. There was never anything which I felt we wanted to get done and we were denied. Uh, the high commissioners here, he was one of the first few people who made our lives easy because we wanted to go to Malta during Christmas and it's the holiday time and our visas came, I mean it was a bit of a jam but they came very quickly and thank you, I must thank you for that. So um, I look forward to this film festival not only for the fact that I, I really love Malta, but I think what we need at this time, in these times where this, the world seems to be pretty stressed out, I think we need a platform which tells us that yes, good will win over evil, that yes, it is all right to be nice. And right now, those are the stories, those things happen largely in stories. In, in real life, it's happening less and less. So I think if, if this cultural exchange tells us something about us, which is what a good film ends up doing, then it's a fantastic opportunity for both the countries. And uh, I wish this festival all the best, and I'll always be there in Malta, at least one part of me. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you for sharing your experience shooting in Malta. And as far as experiences go, one man who's going to be giving you an experience in Malta is sitting right here. Mr. Dabur, can I request you to do the talking? First of all, I'd like to say uh, to all the dignitaries and guests and my love, Vidya. Sorry I'm so uh, overwhelmed by Vidya being here because not only she's a fabulous actor, but I don't think you've seen the best of her yet. She is that good. And I know so because she's been, uh, besides my friend, my student. So I love to show off and say, you know, my Vidya was mine. <laughs> That's it. I don't want to do any great work. Hello. Vidya? Hello. We've seen that when you say the book, it's a difference. Huh? Really, you put it so beautifully. Vidya, hello, hello. Uh, hi. Hi. Vidya, congratulations. Hi, hi. Hi. Thank you. Yeah, uh, I want you to, uh, uh, I mean, is, I just want to check with you. Is, do you visualize a possibility of an Indo-Maltese film where you have a cast partly from India and partly from Malta? Of course I do, but there is a condition in my contract that I have to be part of it. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a precondition. No, you know, there are so many possibilities. Because I think, basically, um, we love telling and listening to stories or watching stories. That's why films, you know, um, they're a, we are able to empathize with characters in films or they, either there is empathy or there is fantasy. There is something that stirs us when we watch films. And that can be about people from any, any part of the world. You know, uni um, emotions are universal. 
Therefore, it is very possible that there is a love story between a Maltese a man or a woman and a, an Indian man or a woman. That would be the most typical film. But who knows? I think the, the, the possibilities are just but, immense. One with films and then with this new gate opening, I think, absolutely. Okay, next question. Hello. My question is Vijay. Hi, Vijay. जैसे अभी आपने कहा कि काफी अच्छा एक्सपीरियंस रहा है आपका शूट मोल्टा में तो कौन सा सीन लाइक सीन की बात करें और कोई एक्शन सीन शूट किया गया था या वो इमोशनल था कोई मैंने बहुत इमोशनली शूट किया और जो जो कम जो थॉक ऑफ इंडस्टान और गेम ऑफ थॉर का जो कंपैरिजन बताया जा रहा है उस पे क्या कहना है आप how you looks uh, like mujhe lagta hai jaise game of thrones kyunki wahan pe shoot hua tha aur jis jagah wo shoot hua tha main wahan pe bhi gaya tha aur wahan cake bahut acha milta agar aap kabhi jaye to imdina they they shot that so um, i'm sorry most of my question answers will be related to food uh, <laughs> but um, so it's not it's not usme similarity nahi hai us jagah um, हम दोनों की फिल्म गेम ऑफ थ्रोन्स में जिस किस्म की उनको लोकेशन चाहिए थी वो उनको वहाँ मिली जो हमें चाहिए था एंड आई हैव शॉट अ लॉट ऑफ एक्शन देर उसमें कोई छुपाने की बात नहीं सो एंड दैट एक्शन सीक्वेंसेस दे बिकेम पॉसिबल बिकॉज ऑफ अ सर्टन सेटअप दैट द मोल्टा फिल्म स्टूडियोज हैड विच वी डोंट हैव हेयर और एक और चीज़ जो मैं बताना चाहूँगा एक वक्त था जब पाइनवुड स्टूडियोज जो जो लंदन में है उनका और मोल्टा फिल्म स्टूडियो का एक पार्टनरशिप थी तो जेम्स बॉन्ड की भी जो पुरानी फिल्मों का अंडर वाटर सीक्वेंस वगैरह शूट हुआ है वो सब मोल्टा में शूट होता था सो इट्स अ इट्स रियली अ वर्ल्ड क्लास फैसिलिटी एंड आई फील दैट अ कंट्री इज कम्स अ लाइव इन पीपल्स मेमरीज यू नो इट्स लाइक इट इज इन माई मेमरी like engelbert i was with him exactly one year ago and uh, it's it's really wonderful to see these connections go forward and not just between us but perhaps between both the countries and there are uh, there are honorable ministers here who i think will take it forward and the the winner is really both both creative and the business we have so many talented technicians we have people who form these relationships and tomorrow it won't be i won't be surprised if they get called for an international crew just the way we go out and get shoot with an international uh, crew all the time so the festival really brings us closer to perhaps each other and up our, our issues and uh, most importantly it feeds our souls <laughs> thank you मैं स्ट्रीम कास्ट की तरफ से एक क्लैरिफिकेशन करना चाहूँगा कि किसी ने कह दिया था कि आइफा और फिल्म फेयर और ये जो है एक थोड़ा सा फर्क ये है कि हम जो प्रमोट करना चाहते हैं एक फिल्म फेस्टिवल का प्लेटफॉर्म है सिर्फ अवार्ड्स नाइट का प्लेटफॉर्म नहीं होते हुए और ख़ास करके विद्या जी का यहाँ आना और विजय का आना इसकी खासियत यह है कि विद्या जी बिकम्स ए वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ब्रांड एम्बेसडर फॉर द रिपल रीज़न कि एक कला का जो स्तर होता है कला का जो एक दायरा होता है ये विद्या जी की पर्सनालिटी से सूट होता है और जो पूरे दुनिया भर के जो प्रोड्यूसर जो डायरेक्टर्स होंगे उनको एसेस करना उस कैलिबर से एसेस करना ये शायद विद्या जी की खास उनकी उपस्थिति का एक खास इम्पॉर्टेंट दायरा है यहाँ पर और स्ट्रीम कास्ट की तरफ से हमारा ये हमेशा एक उद्देश्य रहा है कि जहाँ भी हमारी उपस्थिति रही धंधे के दायरे में बिजनेस के दायरे में साथ साथ जहाँ हम काम करते हैं वहाँ के लोगों को भी हमारी उपस्थिति से कोई एक एक कैटलिस्ट बने जिससे कि लोग नज़दीक आएँ ये मुद्दा है तो थोड़ा सा फ़र्क है जो फिल्म अवार्ड्स जो होते हैं और जो फेस्टिवल होता है उसमें काफ़ी मेहनत होती है काफ़ी एक टैलेंट होता है और जब उसको उभार के उखर के जब जो जूरी लाते हैं तो उसमें बहुत फ़र्क पड़ता है एक प्रोत्साहन होता है एक उत्साह होता है जो अलग किस्म का होता है इस बात की एन टी आर की जो आप फिल्म कर रही हैं उनकी वो बायोपिक जो कर रही हैं उसको लेके काफ़ी चर्चा है और सबको एक उम्मीदें हैं कि क्या क्या नया होगा इफ यू कैन थ्रो सम लाइट इट्स माई फर्स्ट तेलुगु फिल्म तो मैं बहुत एक्साइटेड uh, हूँ क्योंकि मैंने दूसरी भाषा में 
यू नो मैं कभी बोली नहीं हूँ मतलब मलयालम में मैं मैंने एक स्पेशल अपियरेंस किया था एक आध सीन थे मेरे इसमें फुल फ्लैज रोल है मैं एन जी की बीवी का किरदार निभा रही हूँ बसवत आरकम का पर अभी तक मेरे कुछ पाँच दिन की शूटिंग हुई है पर बहुत अच्छा रहा है बहुत ज़्यादा प्रोफेशनल टीम है बहुत अच्छे लोग हैं सुबह नौ बजे शाम काम शुरू हो जाता है छः बजे पैकअप हो जाता है ये एक्सपीरियंस मेरे लिए बहुत अनोखा है लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन वी आर गोइंग टू टेक टू मोर क्वेश्चंस एंड अ स्पेशल रिक्वेस्ट वी गोइंग टू टेक द क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द लेडी बैक देयर अ स्पेशल रिक्वेस्ट दैट वी लिमिट द क्वेश्चन टू द माल्टा इंडिया फिल्म फेस्टिवल एंड वी स्टे ऑन पॉइंट सो क्वेश्चन देयर टू द लेडी इन द रेड या Yes I'm so sorry sir but uh, we have to limit the questions to the Malta India Film Festival can i request the lady in red to pose her question please uh, sir my question is to mr dawar mr shamak dawar i wanted to know sir uh, what will be your performance like or what shows will be there at uh, Malta Film Festival or how you have planned well streamcast has made me the first director of the show mm, to actually do it for the first time I am not only just a choreographer but I'm director of the entire show of the awards festival for the closing ceremony and that means you have to wait and watch it won't be what you see earlier because I was just a choreographer yeah now there's more fun and streamcast had the guts to put me there so now you will see something completely different from what you've seen <laughs> and it will be very exciting new of course there'll be some stars but that's not the important part of the whole festival the festival is about showing the culture the unity the film fraternity mixing complementing each other and done through a special way so it'll be uh, i'm very grateful to you for this and thank you streamcast and thank you all of you that this is the first time i'm doing this After thirty years of doing the same thing, so now. Thank you, sir. Thank you. And now, yeah, last and final be, question to. Personally, I want to say that when Shamak is given freedom, then Shamak is the one who is up. So, this freedom is Shamak's. Yeah, my question is, uh, first of all, uh, Shamak Dawar, uh, thank you so much for coming to the first of all, congratulations to Vidya Ji, Vijay, and Shamak. Thank you. The counterpart of from as an Indian counterpart, but my question is to Mr. Honorable Minister of Tourism from Malta. so the question is what is the motive behind this festival for motive behind this festival is a business friendship or a culture and second question is is there any other festival apart from malta india happening in malta and um, the reason why we're doing this is that obviously after we saw the successful filming of the tags of hindustan in malta we realized that there is a lot that malta can offer to bollywood and a lot that india can offer in terms of opportunities to multis uh creative personnel we thought that the backdrops that we have could entice indian filmmakers to come to malta we're currently in the process of revising our incentives and cash rebates for filmmakers and hopefully as of may of as of january of next year we will have improved uh, incentive schemes and we're also working hard on ensuring that the maltese supply chain can offer all the support services back home in malta we have wonderful water tanks but we want to ensure that all the post production support services are also there from this festival i would like to achieve a number of things i would like to ensure that films emerge and talent emerges in the world especially in bollywood and it will offer a great platform for indian and maltese filmmakers i would also like to open additional avenues and create awareness about malta and india and i would i'd like to see that the relationship between the two countries flares up grows and that malta can also offer gateway and hubbing services for indian companies worldwide and i think we can do that so i hope that the result of the festival if when we look at the festival in 2030 and look back would be that the relationship between the two countries and the friendships have evolved immensely thank you so i the second question was is there any other festival apart from malta india no there is no festival 
which is focused on Malta and India at the same time. There is another film festival in Malta, but it is a purely a festival based on islands, um, and it's you know it's held every year in June. But it once again it's very young in Malta. For many many years we did not have a film festival, so so this is another positive um, development for the Maltese film community and for people in general to start appreciating more film, because Malta I I think. It's a very young country, and we definitely need to give people more options in terms of art and film. For me, is the best form of art there is. Okay, we have one last question there to the gentleman at the back. Uh, good evening to the ladies and gentlemen on the dais and in the audience. Uh, my name is Sumit Sharma from India TV. Uh, Vidya, when Shamax joins anything, it's a new panache which he adds, which is which is which he only can add. Am I right? <laughs> no, absolutely. Um, as a matter of fact, I've trained um, with Shamak. I've done one of his classes this summer. Uh, some of funk that you, that happens even now, but I've done it only a few years ago. <laughs> actually, actually, quite a while ago. So I've absolutely loved Shamak's work in film and outside of it because there's so much that he does even outside. I think it's fantastic that uh, he's going to be director of the closing ceremony of this festival. Oh, and on that note, oh, ladies Neha, and gentlemen. Neha. Neha. Let yeah, me, he's, he's, uh, oh. I'm the last person, not the last question. <laughs> Shamak, uh, is it Winnie, Vidi, VC? Sorry? Uh, trying to conquer the whole world with your compassion, love, and your performing arts? You, you, you make me very, very humbled. I love you for saying all this. But yes, I love to, I'm still a baby. I'm a man child. I take every project I do with a complete insane passion. I'm already nervous when Megha came to my office and said, you have to be director. So I already died. So I'm already, I've already finished the show in my mind. And I've done five different shows in my head. So my mind is really working on this show. And I, I, I really pray and hope that this will set a benchmark because I want to do something different. And now I've given the choice and chance, and therefore I'm very grateful and thank you so much. You're very kind. Mr. Kunard, uh, as uh, Thugs of Hindustan is over, but there's another film which is soon going to be start in your country. Uh, that is of Mr. Salman Khan, uh, Bharat. Are you in knowledge of this? Yes, of course. We, we have <laughs> another big movie uh, being shot in, in Malta. And once again, we're very proud to, you know, have such a close relationship now with, with Indian movie making. So, uh, Tags was, you know, the first one, it created momentum. Now, at, as we speak right now, we have another major Indian production, which we love, we have the pleasure of hosting in Malta. Any more questions, Samit? Any more? Okay, thank you, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, on that note, we close the question and answer session and a very big thank you to all of our friends and dignitaries here on stage, to all of our friends here in the audience from the media who are a part of this journey with us, who are a part of this landmark occasion with us. And I'm gonna give you just 30 seconds or so to take a few to take a few pictures as we bid adieu to our friends and dignitaries on stage. w.mifaa.com and our Instagram and Facebook handles once again at Malta India Film Festival. Thank you.